Hello, this is Genosis with episode 23 of Enshrouded. Why am I in the middle of the desert, you might ask? Well, I decided to do some exploring and I tried to find the location of grain. And I'd like to say that I stumbled upon it accidentally, but I just looked it up because it's um, over here in Bounty Barn, which uh, I did have a location that was set here in the middle of the desert for me to gather desert supplies. And apparently there is supposed to be Oh, there's a lot of animals in here. It's supposed to be a, a grain in here. So I want to record it because I just don't want to do it off camera. Yeah, but this should be one of the, la the last, uh, I guess, resources that I haven't found yet. And like I said, I want to do it on camera. Oh, yeah, this must be it. Harvest. There it is. Wheat seedling. So I'm just going to fill my boots. We're getting wheat grain and wheat seedling. Uh, flour. Okay, there we go. That's probably going to open some stuff up. I'm also getting straw, which is uh, needed for, I think, bed. Beds. Um, or the, the best bed. So, yeah, this is definitely something I needed to do. Alright, while we're here, let's take a look inside the house. I'm bound to be something in here. Alright, it's a little loft. Okay, there we go. Oh, silver chest. Uh, Hunter's bow, level 20. Okay. Seems alright. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything else to the place other than the grain and that silver chest. Yeah, okay, I guess I just needed to come here, which is very, a very specific and limited place to come to. I mean, why would I have come here? <laughs> Alright, with that out of the way, let's hop back home and get that stuff planted right away. And maybe I have enough straw to uh, make a bed with. Alright, back home, and let's uh, cover something else I've done since our last recording. And we made some huge chests. Now, let's uh, go over what it took to make that. So huge chest, we needed to make a huge chest, nails, planks, iron bars, pretty easy. And then it took some enshrouded oil and shroud cores, which, uh, well, I guess I took more than I thought I was going to. But it made 56 slot chests. And I think the next one up was 40. So look at these things. So this was able to store, well, between two and about half chests, it stored all of my crafting resources in one to spare. So I'm good for a while. All right, next up, I've uh, started crafting some of these grapple seedlings. So I want to get those planted as well. Uh, can I do another one there? Here we go. All right, but I need to start an entirely new crop for the grain. Uh, maybe it'll do it over here. Seems to be most sensible. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, farm crops down. I think, oh, that's sand. Okay, undo. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of interesting that you can build with sand, though. That would be uh, an interesting material to maybe have at a base. All right, I think I got that all fixed. Now we'll uh, need to do the outer edge. Um, now that I have a bunch of straw, and I got more straw than I thought I was going to, let's make a... Uh, let's make two honey beehives. And I guess I'm going to slap them down pretty much anywhere here. I got a couple of beehives down. And uh, I think the bug thing is going to bu uh, bug me. I never went and said it. So I may have to move that around. So it takes water and sugar in order to uh, grow this. All right, you can make some sugar for me. And we need some water. Now, <clears throat> on top of the whole water thing, there's, uh, I think, a better well we can make now. Improved water well. Yeah, I needed iron bars. Oh, lin wait, linen. Is that all I needed? Oh, I guess I could have uh, been able to make this for a while. I'd like to have a couple of them. All right, here's some sugar, here's some water, go to it. And as for the wells, uh, yeah, I'll scoop these right up as soon as I uh, pick up the well themselves. All right, it is getting late though, so let's go, go sleep it off and get the grain set up in a new, in a new uh, seed bed. Right after I make the best, most comfortable bed in the game so far. So uh, fabric, fabric, straw, string, nails, palm logs, awesome. Okay, away with this one. All right, here is the palm bed. It looks a little more modern. And this brings us up to level 52 comfort, which is 55 for 57 minutes of rested. Yeah, this is a cozy looking bed. I like it. All right, now that we've done all this, let's go ahead and set up our new farming location for the grain and uh, get the seed bed set up. All right, let's get our new seed bed down. This will be responsible for the grain. Um, yes, uh, right here is fine. All right, wheat seedling does 20 at a time. Needs water, wheat grain, and bone dust. Alright, let's start off with these wells. I guess we'll put, um... 
I guess I'll put them right here. Looks like it gives us a five each. Um, I, I'm assuming that's better. It's hard to tell. I mean, I could still use these wells. We wouldn't hurt to put them somewhere. I mean, uh, yeah, let's just put them along here. This will just be like an extra top off of uh, well water. There we go. We got uh, wheat grain. So let's split that up. Uh, that sounds like it's going to be a lot. All right, into the bone dust and in with the water. All right, that's uh, six hours worth. So, <laughs> okay, let's go do something else. Now we can take that wheat grain and let's pop over to the grinder. And now we can make flour. So take my grain. Looks like it's five minutes per grain, so that's going to be a little while. All right, now that we're waiting for all that stuff, let's go ahead and start uh, taking a look at our last two quests. Looks like we have an obelisk research, which is over here, and beside Emily Frey's tavern. All right, quickest travel is probably going to be Kindle Wastes, so let's pop on over. All right, food buffs up. Get up as high as possible. Looks to be uh, north. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, I think I see it right there above the shroud. Let's see how far this glider gets us. Man, I wish I had this glider way earlier. Wait, is this a... This is another Rochelle burrow. Hold on, this is another one of those plantations. It looks like it's done with metal grates instead of uh, whatever ones that were before. Let's take a look at these crops. Maybe, uh, maybe there's something else here that I haven't seen yet. Okay, does that look really obviously something? Ah, yes. Yes, it does. Yoink. Gloom Monarch Trousers. Very nice. Oh, there's a lore note here. Dreaming. My family and I spent the better part of the year searching for this land. I knew when I found the right fertile soil, but I wasn't satisfied. And then one day, we came over to this ridge and saw the way the sapling sprouted. I could taste the nutrients in the dirt on the tip of my finger. The first season, my father was worried I made the wrong choice, but when the wheat came in and we had bread for the winter and money in his pocket, he told me how proud he was. However, I outgrew the farm. I packed my things and planned to open my own tavern in Brittlebush, and I could do... And I could not be more excited to share my talent for cooking with the travelers far and wide. Before I leave, my mother wishes to send me off with a gift. I wonder what it could be. Emily Frey. Emily really gets around. I wonder if I can actually eat one of these grapple plants right here. Use. Okay, can Oh, it's a herb buff. Oh. Maximum mana increased. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, fireball. One, two, three, four, five, six fireballs in succession. That's actually pretty great. All right, so this wasn't where I was looking for, but hey, you know, it was a, a little less, a little extra something. All right, the location is above. Are we going to be able to go up there? Uh, you know what? Maybe we should jump from the spires again. Uh, I'm looking for a way up before I did that. and That's a nice looking bridge. It almost looks like Minecraft. You can see how blocky the uh, circular area is. But we might be able to climb up that from the looks of it. Yeah, this is totally uh, scalable. Okay, so there's a cave over here. A bunch of sulfur. You know what? I needed sulfur. Okay, this is like one of the best sulfur uh, locations I have ever seen. It's... It just keeps going. I'm sure it's going to stop eventually, but... Man, that is a ton of sulfur. Like, you'd probably get more here than you could probably want to use uh, anytime soon. All right, so with that done, let's uh, pop over here. All right, ooh, maybe it was... Oh, no, no, hold on. I was almost mistaken. I thought there wasn't a way up, but there definitely seems to be. Oh, yeah, I love this. All right, that's the last of the grapples. Looks like you want me to go inside here. Spooky. All right, coming up on top of... Oh, yeah, this gets you on top of the bridge. Neat. All right, looks like our location is over here. Okay, it's over here. All right, obelisk. I wonder if this will open up uh, other locations I haven't seen yet. Okay, one marker added. Okay, that's for the ancient obelisk. Are you going to give me more? Five new markers. Okay. Perhaps the flame has been tainted all its life, blinded by its own light, or perhaps by uh, it was us. The final flaw, raised too high above the rest, a fall so deep, so devastating, it rivals the chasms of Starfall Kingdom, a failure to rip us in two. Divided in shambles, our young drowning in war, our old locked up in start. 
are all locked inside the stars. A miscalculation, ash among the star fire after all. We must start a new Manathor. Okay. Alright, so did that open... Okay, is a shroud root there? Shroud root. Okay, this is opening up a bunch of... Wait, the Grim? The greatest game, okay. Uh, another shroud root. I mean, the um, story is almost over. But, I mean, there's still story notes all over the place. But man, there's so many things I haven't seen yet. Alright, we have one mission left. And that's down here. So that'll be our next objective. So that's really far away. So where is the closest... Hmm, the closest um, spire to... Well, you know what? That's actually equidistant between these two spires. Hmm. And there's looks like a deadly area right there. So I'm going to jump from here. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, you know what? I just realized before I teleported that there was Emily Frey's tavern right there. Uh, I'll go there later. All right, 1,800 meters. How far can we go? This looks like an odd structure. I'm going to aim for it. We're still within a kilometer of our destination. But yeah, we're definitely going to get on top of this thing. All right, so... What is this? I think it just seems to be... A... Random... Yeah, there's no location here. I think this is just a random thing to look off in the distance. Maybe something we'll add to later. Yeah, looking around, there's absolutely nothing here. It's just stairs and walls. All right, we have 840 meters. Let's go some stamina and do another jump. Here we go. All right, we landed within 500 meters, which is pretty good. We're going to make a mild detour. I'm actually going to head towards the Grim, as it is between here and there. Okay, it looks to be an odd structure over here for some reason. All right, what is this here for? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right, so we got some deadly shroud. That's probably the map edge. Yeah, that's, that's the map edge. All right, this is going to be a uh, perilous jump, but let's go ahead and do it. All right, there's our stamina. Let's see what the grim is. Oh, it's a, a shroud root. Um, any, uh, you know what, let's just chop this. Oh, that's a fell sickle scythe thing. Uh, do I want to kill it? Uh, okay, alright, here we come. Here's, a, how about some acid? Can you get some acid? You're resisting. Okay, that's not great. Oh, you gotta dodge those. You know what, screw you. I don't want any of that. I just, I, I have other things to do. On second thought, I have a fireball. More fireballs. Oh, goddamn. Okay, potion. Where's my potion? <laughs> I just didn't want to uh, let this guy win, you know? Fireball. Critical effective resisted. Which is it? No, you don't. Oh, you're still alive? Oh, you bugger. Hey, uh, wand. Wand. I hate these guys so much. Um, wow. Radiant Paladin Helmet. Melee critical strike chance. Not my thing, but I like it. Alright, so that was the Grim. That was, that was fun. Now, the greatest game. Is that these things? I mean, that would make sense. Alright, what do we have here? Deep cut. Alright, so we're probably looking at uh, frost damage. Alright, looks like uh, one of those... Uh, looks like a scavenger camp. We can cast a lot of these frost bolts. Nice. All right, the quest is completed. You have you don't have any unfinished quests. But what is the point of this place? Oh goddamn! You that was close. All right, what a jerk. All right, so is it resources? There's lots of lapis lazuli here. Maybe there's something up here? Yeah, I figured there'd be a matron. Alright, eat ice bolt. Oh, 
All right, I want to uh, stay at a distance from that thing. Can we just hit this guy right in front of me, if you don't mind? All right, so what do we got? Um, let's try lightning. No? All right. Hey, fireball. Okay, 538. Ice ball. 588. Okay, ice bolt is better. So, let's just stick with that. Yeah, this uh, ice ball does uh, <laughs> pretty great for these things. Is I don't need to get that close to you. All right, you guys are starting to annoy me. All right, what you got for me? A legendary bow. Do you if I was ever going to do a uh, uh, like a ranged um, character? I wonder if I can give that to myself. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's go see where the, what the matron was protecting. All right, just seems to be an encampment. Oh, golden chest, perfect. A spine splinter. So this is like max level gear here, which is pretty nice. All right, there seems to be more to this place. Um, yeah, something over there. All right, some sort of a hut. Is there another matron in here? No, this just this guy in a silver chest. Oh, get away from him. What a jerk. You know, I just realized I have a bunch of points. Um, eight points, in fact. So, uh, critical is stunned for four seconds. Have some spirit for every two levels of flame. Actually, that'll be good. So, let's hit you with a critical ice ball, maybe? Are you stunned? It said it was critical, didn't it? Uh, we'll play with that later. Alright, what do we have in here? A silver storm. So, let's common level, so that sucks. Alright, well this has me out of a bit of a crossroads right now, because um, I'm technically done the current early access content. I mean, there's still things to explore. You know, I could wander around for another episode or two, open a bunch of points, but just what end would that reach? I don't know. Yeah, the story is basically done. Yeah, right now I have nothing in the journal. All my main missions are completed. I all the, these crafts people are saved. I have all the workshops. So, man, it kind of leaves a kind of a gap. Like, what do we do with ourselves? Now, there's obviously points in the map. Uh, there's shroud roots all over the place, all over the place. Really, I could get a lot more points. And there's still parts of the map I haven't seen yet. I haven't even found grain until I had to look it up. So. There's lots of stuff to kind of look and explore. So what I'll do for now is uh, let's go check on our grain situation back at home and then decide what to do next. Looks like Emily Frey has something to say. Can you help search? Hello, well, hello, Flameborn. Can you do, one, do me a favor? It's a mission. Look at this. I'm distraught. My mother gifted me a very precious ring before I left home to build my tavern in Brittle Bush. Sadly, I was forced to flee a sand digger on my journey through the Kindle Waste and lost the ring. Can you help me find it? Well... Is that the only person with a mission right now? Okay, this rewards a epic ring. Find the farmer's ring. Okay, sand digger camp. Well, look at this. We have something to do. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go check the grain first. Uh, yes, we do have 20 grain seedlings ready to go. Let's put that in right away. All right, looks like the crop holds 25. I'm missing five, but we're not going to have that for another 15 minutes. All right, let's empty out and then pop over to that uh, that location. All right, morning has come. Let's uh, pop right over to this uh, new mission location. And this has me wondering, are there more missions just out there? Or is this just a fluke? I don't know. All right, just thought of something before we head off in another direction. Let's go get some fabric from here and see if we have any more. Oh, 28 fabric. Awesome. Let's see if there's any upgrades we can do with this. All right, up to the alchemist. I think I have all the stuff I need for the upgrades. So uh, let's double check what we need first of all. I need the Archmage uh, boots and pants and probably the hat. All right, so we got boots, we got pants, and we need one padding. All right, there's the padding. And begrudgingly, we're going to make the Archmage hat. And we're going to put it all on and we're going to like it. All right, so pants. So we're going from 27... Oh, hold on. 
27 mana for your generation to 36 mana with less regeneration. Interesting. All right. Now for the boots, we have three mana regeneration. Okay, so this goes more mana, regener more mana regeneration and it looks like a third more uh, or less delay. Cool. Fancy. And this is going to be uncomfortable for me. So we're only getting 1% extra on the damage, but we're getting a modest amount of resistance. Lord help me. Yeah, um, I could do without the mask part of that. Can we... Is there a toggle for the mask part of that? I guess this is it. All right, now that I look like that creepy guy you find at the orgy, uh, let's pop all the way over to the spire and go to that last note. All right, we got about 590 meters. This should be no problem. Sandigger camp. Yeah, 590 meters. Here we go. All right, location below where we're going to shoot right over it. All right, what do you have for me? Is it iron? It looks like some explosive barrels and the sandigger guys. Let's uh, take these out, I guess. All right, those guys are out of the way. So what exactly am I, am I looking for? There seems odd piles of sand here, so I suspect we'll need to dig, maybe? Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy caught me off guard. Jerk. All right, it must be under there. I'm gonna hit those barrels, see what happens. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, whoa, that was weird. The iron just grew back. Mother's Eye. 10% wood chopping strength. Interesting. New quest on fertile ground. What do you mean? Oh, return it to her. Okay, I get you. I thought I'd grab some iron since I was here. All right, I believe there might be another location nearby. Emily Frey's Tavern. Yeah, let's just go there now. We're passing by that farm earlier where we found that original note, so at least we're heading in the right direction. This must be our destination here. Caravan camp. Uh, yeah, this must be it. Okay, there is a lore note here. Did this place say Emily Frey's Tavern on it? All right, what does this note have for us? My visit to Brittlebush. Fear not, I am unharmed. I felt compelled to travel out ahead of the caravan to Brittlebush. Yes, I know it's uncommon, maybe dangerous, as you'd say, dear Cyrus, but nothing could hold me. I spoke to inspire the troubled masses. Many of them had seen firsthand their fields and livestock wither. I feared it would be difficult to gain their attention, but they clung to my words like golden honey. One of them, a striking brunette, that's not how you spell brunette, who introduced herself as a farmer and a cook. Oh, we do know this is Emily. Spoke up and vehemently agreed with me. We must go with our queen, she shouted, and the crowd cheered. I'm filled with hope once more. I can't let them down, Sirius, even if the journey to Longkeep is long and treacherous. Jasmina. Well, she has her uh, only fan over there. <laughs> All right, not too much else in this camp. I thought I'd take a little peek around. But it's just uh, that one lore note. All right, let's go back and talk to Emily. All right, here you go. Hello, ring recovered. Oh my, my lost ring, thank you, Flameborn. This means the world to me. For you see, this ring is a powerful art powerful artifact. It is a blessing that is traditionally passed down in the Frey family. Now that I think about it, I'll hardly be able to carry on that tradition. Besides, when I look at the ring, I see my mother's tired eyes. She never got to leave the old Rochelle burrow. Keep it. Let's see the world. Okay. So yeah, we're back down to zero missions. All right, one other thread we have I haven't pulled yet is the flower. Looks like we have some ready. Um, we must have found flour before because I didn't seem to unlock anything. We can, however, make start making flatbread. So I'm going to maybe make a couple flatbread. See if it unlocks anything. We need salt and water. All right, here is some salt and water. So that's going to do its thing. Um, let's see if there's any... Let's see, intelligence, mushroom omelets, kind of the main thing to get. Healing fruit bowls. Health, stamina, recharge, boiled eggs. Is there anything else here that I haven't been making that I should be? You know, meat wrap looks really good. Constitution and intelligence. What if I've been making chicken soup? Oh, meat wrap is way better. Oh, it takes flour. Okay. So, oh, and red mushrooms. 
You know, I think we need to start growing red mushrooms. There's our crops right there. Cool. All right, so uh, I guess this kind of does it for the missions. So I'd like to start building a house. Now, there's a couple spots I've um, marked here and there. So, gosh, is it this spot? Let's take a look at this one. All right, so I have a spot here. This doesn't seem to be... Oh, I remember why I marked this place. In my exploration, I was looking for some high peaks. This is one of the highest peaks on the map. So it's right here in the middle. Yeah, this is pretty much the center of the map. And I was looking through this. There's absolutely nothing in here. It is an empty... Just... It's empty. There's nothing here. There's no doors, no walls. Everything is cut weird. See how that's cut weird? So this is basically just something for you to look at in the distance. But there's really nothing to it. So the idea is, I saw the spot right here. And say, so, hey, this is a decent, you know, flight area. And I could, it'd be a nice thing to look over, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I want this. What are you doing here? All right, so yeah, I'm not sure if I want to keep this spot or not. It wasn't easy to get to, so I might keep it just because of that. But there's another spot I was looking at. Let's pop over here. All right, so I started building something, and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. I was thinking of building like a, like a, a, almost like a temple kind of thing, like in underground, in the ground, whatever. So that is a notion, and it's actually not a bad view either. So it looks over the, I guess, Kindle Wastes? Is that what that is? Oh, there's a shrine over there, which I, th I must have been into. Sanctum. So yeah, I'm not sure if I want something like this either. Right, let's pop off to Aspire. Alright, so just looking around, I'm not sure where I would want to settle. You know, I want something scenic, like a cliff, something that looks over something. So, and there seems to be... I guess, what is that? That's to the south. I mean, there could be a couple spots out there that might be interesting. Maybe I'll take a look at that mountain over there. Or there's a lush pasture underneath us, I remember that. But we could totally head up this cliff and see if there's anything of any interest. I mean, I like the idea of being in a lush area, but I don't want to just kind of surround myself with trees. I mean, I want something to look at. And I guess I'll ponder this uh, between now and either the next recording, or maybe if I do a stream, I'll, uh, I'll ponder it. But right now, the main story is completed. I am max level. I have all my people. So I guess all that's left to do is explore the map. So I'll uh, dwell on how I want to... Uh, I want to do that. This has been Genosis, the episode 23 of Enshrouded. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. If you see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, catch us as we maybe find a new base location and start using our fancy materials to build a nice looking home for whatever comes next.